So guys, today we are with Bob Baldwin. He built his house in two days with thermal steel. That's crazy, isn't it, Bob? So, what are you saying? You like it? Love it. Six hours. Six hours. This is what we accomplished. This Everything time. here is in six hours? Yeah. So how many people you had here working? Two people. Oh, wow. Holy oh, smokes. Okay. But you notice I have these lines snapped already. The chalk line is, uh, the whole thing is squared off ahead of time. So as long as you follow your, uh, follow your square line, you're golden. And uh, the, the, first, the first corner down there, I, I left this loose because I was afraid the panels might not come out perfect. There's no need to do that because they come out perfect. So you can go ahead and screw it down ahead of time and uh is these little to fasten down the 18 gauge channel is I use these little um, spacks and uh, they're they self tap so you don't have to drill and uh, I took a, a impact driver and well threw it in but basically my little impact driver battery operated uh, matter of fact I haven't used any electricity here it's all been battery operated. no electricity hmm. everything battery operated and uh, so Quite frankly, I'm thrilled with the product, and I, I obviously plan to use it again on the next house. But I will be building this exact house again, and I will be using thermal steel. As a matter of fact, there's a very good chance that I won't stick build again because I'm so impressed with the product. Um, and a few peculiarities with it, um, and that is, and I shouldn't even say peculiarity, you have to obviously, just like any building project, you have to make sure to get the... Uh, Turn it off? Yeah. Uh, main, thing, main thing is to square to get everything square because one thing that I was concerned about from the get go was whether these panels would actually fall on layout where they're supposed to fall. In other words, once I put that track down, this channel, and I start screwing panels together, does it end up on the 44 foot mark? Which this house is 44 feet long. And did it work does out? It end up on the 24 foot. Perfect. And so, quite frankly, I marveled at that, that you got it so perfect in the, in the factory. Uh, but yeah, everything, and, it's, and it, uh, as you can see, it, it goes up quite nicely, and uh, everything's perfect. It's plumb, it's easy to plumb, everything's uh, square, and yeah, it, uh, if you get your deck right and you get it square, these things will follow right along. gauge uh, track system so we place the track down on liquid nail up underneath and then we shoot it with a rim fire 16 gauge nail into it and then now they'll they take the panel and they can place it into the track system and set it in for it to be screwed and that's that's all there is to it that's it if it gets caught on the corner when they go to place it into it, this is a trick that we use. We lift it up on the corner 
and drop it. If it gets hot, you just use a cat's paw and you can pop.